Robert Jean Smith and Faster EFT Utaptics has just launched a program aimed at schools, educators and support staff called Emotional Ed. It has been two years in the making, led by Jacqueline Tipping Shute and her amazing dedicated team of Utaptics practitioners, parents, teachers and grandparents. It is a powerful solution for both educators and students in developing emotional intelligence and building resilience. It has been Robert's dream to reach and support children around the world. Project leader Jacqueline was perfect for the job, with many years in the corporate and educational world and a master's degree in education. She is an advanced level 4 practitioner who found Faster EFT after a health crisis in 2008. She works on the Skills to Change Steering and Training Committee and is a devoted mother and grandmother. Congratulations, Robert, Jacqueline and the team. Well, so Jacqueline, everyone is dying to know, how did this get started? Okay, well, thank you for that. Yes, um, and we are very, very excited at the moment about what's, what's happening, what's been happening. So several years ago, I, um, I, I did hear about EFT and I went to um, a meeting and I started to hear about EFT being used in the schools, but it was very, very quiet, hush, hush, not very much happening. And I was really inspired by that, but not, not very much happened as a result of that. But I still held that kind of flame within me as, oh, that would be an amazing thing to do. And then I came to Fast FT and uh, as you've just said, you know, my whole life changed and, um, and a lot of my, the, the issues that I was currently dealing with at the time were resolved. And so I, I was working then with my own development and then started working with um, other people. And it wasn't until later when I thought, oh, this would be so fantastic because I started to realise as I was working with clients myself that so many of our issues and my issues had gone back through my earlier part of my life and in particular most of ours goes back to the childhood. So then I became, oh, if only we could find something that we could use using Fast UFT, which we know is so fantastic, so effective and that it could short circuit um, a lot of pain and grief and suffering for, for all of us. And so I just spoke with Robert uh, about this when he was in Adelaide and and started to look at how we might be able to work together to collaborate so that we could really develop a program that would help children of all ages. And Robert is, has always been very, very passionate about this. And he says, um, and you may have heard, we may have all heard him saying in seminars that he works with children all the time. <laughs> They're just kind of dressed up as adults a lot of the time. So, um, and he's very, very skillful at working with the children. And you know, for many of us, we've, we've been well, very well skilled and educated with Robert, but that is a focus on the adult and less on working with children or, or very little working with children. So there was a real skill there in being able to do that. So, so I became um, um, inspired, very inspired, very passionate, and, and Robert did too. So, oh, that, that's fantastic. And um, you know, the, the uh, logo for the project is making life easier. And that is really the crux of it, isn't, isn't it? Because we have lots of stressed teachers and stressed children and... Um, this program I know is aimed at both the teachers and the children. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so, so we're very aware that, um, and most, I think pretty much all of us are aware about how, how stressful it is, well, generally in life, I guess, that there's lots of challenges and technology and competing needs, and probably even particularly at the moment with uh, the health situation and COVID. But um, we certainly became very aware that the teachers, and Robert talks about that too, having worked with many, many teachers, that they're often very overwhelmed, com competing demands, lots of challenges, lots of pressures, lots of anxiety. And, and of course, for the children, that is a reflection of kind of what's going on in, in the world and in their, in their environment. So, so there was a great, there is a great need to bring tapping and make something, bring something in that's simple, easy, effective, and that is going to make life easier for the teachers, for the educators, support staff, and of course, for the children. And then hopefully have a skill for life that they'll be able to take forward. Yes. 
Oh, wow. And you know, it really is about improving emotional intelligence and well-being in the classroom. And what I love is all the latest techniques in neuroplasticity, mindset, mindfulness have all been incorporated into this program. And it is a manual and it's also videos. So it's very comprehensive. Do you want to talk a little bit about the actual program? Yeah, for sure. Great. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, the, so we've been working on creating this program for, um, for a couple of years uh, with a great team of people from around the world. And those, those people have got amazing skills and abilities. And we put a program together that we hope will um, really support the teachers and uh, the educators, um, support staff moving forward. So the program itself is predominantly self-based, um, paced based and paced and it's going to be it is available on our talent lms the learning management um, system it comprises of six um, modules it has a very comprehensive manual that um, is a treasure chest of information and a treasure chest of tools and resources that are going to blow i think the teachers and the educators away and that that is because we've had amazing people working on it and and creating materials for it it also has got some fantastic videos which are new videos mostly new videos that robert has created especially for this program so that it's customized for the target audience we've got um, also the program will include um, webinars so we had our first one a little while ago um, and that webinar is part of a structured support process to bring that community together. Because we know that as, as educators, especially when they're, they're trying something new, that it's great to interact with others who are doing similar things and that we'll be able to support them in that process. We've got a private Facebook group as well where we can share information and share ideas, answer questions. So it's a really, really neat package um, that is, is going to be, I think, very, very, very helpful. And all under the umbrella of Fast DFT Tactics. So that is so exciting that uh, Robert is getting the, he's spreading this throughout our world. You know, it's, it's where well, that's where it starts with the children. And um, of course, Jacqueline, we've been working on it for so long and then the pandemic hits. So how do you think this is going to help? And how difficult has it been because you were about to launch the pilot program when COVID arrived. So yeah. would you like to say a bit about that? Sure, yes. Yeah. So, so, you know, life happens really. So we decided to, to wait a while until things were perhaps a little bit calmer. But eventually, uh, we've decided now to launch anyway, and, and things are happening in different parts of the world at different speeds. And of course, this program is even more than more needed even more than before that social, um, emotional learning the, the, the stress regulation, the anxiety, managing the anxiety and everything. So, and we have um, kicked off uh, on the 5th of July with the pilot program, we've got 31 people that have registered. And we have people from around the world, we've got principals, teachers, uh, support staff. So uh, there, there definitely is a need and there were others that wanted to join the program that we just had to say, okay, that's, can't, that's enough at the moment because um, we wanted a smallish group to actually work on the pilot so they were able to try it and see what's working, make any f um, fine tuning that is necessary, that we will, we will do that before we actually offer it um, internationally for everybody. And those people that are on the pilot are from, um, all, from all around the world. So we've got America, America from Europe, from all around Australia, uh, from Mexico, and, and there are others. So, um, and that is also a reflection of our team that's um, amazing team that's put this together, who are also from all around the world. Yeah, so it's really an international project, just like Robert, the, the way he's working uh, with, you know, with his work all around the, all around the world. Yeah. And, um, and I know that there are some amazing techniques in this program. I just love all the videos that Robert's made uh, with all the trance monkeys uh, that the children can really relate to. And, um, you know, just really tailor making it for children, like really simple and effective and um, usable. It's really a self-regulating, and a tool that every child can use in the classroom and at home. So when do you think this will be available to the world? 
Um, I think probably by towards the latter part of the year that the pilot will run until October, then we'll make any tweaks. So by the end of the year, I'm hoping that it will be available um, for, for, any, for any teacher or support staff um, in that sort of setting that is ready to come forward. So I would encourage any of our practitioners or any, anybody in our community to, um, to, to follow this space, watch this space, and to maybe start talking to others uh, that they might know in the educational arena uh, and maybe other parents who might be interested in talking about it with their schools because this, this can be a definite um, changer and a, a life changer both for the children and all of those that are learning because part of the program is set up so that the teachers and the educators will learn it themselves, will, will practice on themselves, get really skilled at doing it and then be able to take it on to, to the children. It's, it won't replace being a practitioner and in fact if the and if any of the participants on this want to go further, then, then they can certainly go down that path. And it may be in time that the teachers might like to see a practitioner or the child might need to see a practitioner when they've got perhaps bigger, bigger, um, bigger things that need to, to be taken care of. Yeah, I know. And personally, as a practitioner, I look forward to getting involved with one of my local schools so that when there are some big issues that the teachers can't handle, you know, they have got a, um, a trained practitioner they can call on. So it's, it's so comprehensive how we can all be involved here. And what I also love is that we're going to be mapping results pre and post class evaluations. And um, this is really going to be useful. And I believe we're going, going to be looking at happiness before concentration levels, how the children handle challenges, levels of anxiety, even their social interaction and their resilience. Um, and you know how this contributes towards learning and these are all the factors that emotional ed will have a direct bearing on and Jacqueline in this regard um, are there any stories of success does um, this really work has anyone tried it with children <laughs> yeah, thank, you. thank you for that. Yeah. yeah, there is a whole lot of stories that are available and, and many of that, some of those, some of the best ones we've been able to put in the program. There's some fantastic interviews with teachers, with uh, school counsellors, which are um, very, very inspiring. And there's also, so one of the, t for instance, uh, one of the school counsellors, Cherie, who was on the, on the um, program on, on the, our committee um, at the beginning, um, took this, this fast T to all of grade eight in um, an American, a large American school and introduced that as part of a lifestyle program. And then she went and spoke to all of them and introduced it and then went back again to make sure that, that they kind of understood and moving on. And they started to get some really, really good results in that. So from grade eight, um, if, they, if those children were able to take that skill, they would have that skill for life. So, 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 so that was really fantastic. There were other stories of um, a teacher in England who, um, who had the basics, knew the basics, and she had a group of children that were out on an excursion. And one of the children was starting to have, I think it might've been an, an asthma attack or, or an anxiety attack, anyway, something. And that all of the children in the group started to kind of react to this. But they knew, they did understand tapping. And so the teacher brought them all together and then started tapping and the children immediately knew what to do and they started tapping. And so the result of that was a calming of, of the children. And so what a fantastic thing to have in your, in your back pocket um, to, be able to, to be able to tap and to, to calm the situation so that they could then deal with the, the, main, the main issue which was there. So that was, that was very powerful. Um, some of the other, the other ones we've heard about is actually a practitioner with a very young son and she showed him how to tap and she videoed it and she videoed tapping on one of his favourite toys. And so she videoed it and then sometime later, several months later, I think, she, she saw her son had gone to her phone, had pulled up the video because they're, they're also gifted now, aren't they, these children with technology. And he was watching this video himself and tapping on himself. So we can't really underestimate the power, the power of the tapping. So yeah, in, in the program, there are many stories told and, and several teachers explaining how they did it and how they managed to introduce it into the school because that's obviously part of, 
uh, you know, kind of what we're really, um, really needing to have happen. And with regards to the pre and the post tap, that is part of the tools that we, part of the many tools in this treasure chest that we have created and are in the program. So the teachers can use that as a way, and the educators as a way of modeling and measuring what has happened at the beginning and what has happened at the end. And that often can be very useful when they're actually um, talking to more senior people or talking to other staff members. And we've, by talking to teachers, we've been able to extract some of the key things that perhaps they might be looking for in the classroom setting, but those can easily be adapted um, for themselves. Yeah, oh, fantastic. It is so exciting. Um, and what do you think is next? I know there is more training on the way. So now we've targeted teachers, educators, principals, school children. What is next um, along the lines of developing training for other people? Okay, so um, we are a very good way into developing a program for um, emotional ed, supporting parents, caregivers and grandparents because we saw that as a very big area um, of need as well and possibly even bigger than the teachers. So that is well underway and uh, we've learned a lot from the first program and, and then this next part I think will be, um, will be fast, we'll be able to fast track that. So I would hope that that would come in towards the end of the year as well. And that will be a, a simpler program, a shorter program, but also we'll have videos and um, a guide to help the, um, the, the, the parents and caregivers. After that, we're also quite a good way into developing a program for practitioners because I know for myself when I was coming up through um, and developing my skills in class through TU tactics, I, I, I was a diligent student and, and, um, and worked hard at my studies, but there really wasn't very much in there about working with children and it wasn't until later when I was asked about working with children, I thought, well, I can, I can, I, I, I can certainly do it, but it's not the same as learning specifically. So, and of course, we all know that Robert is an absolute uh, mind of information and a treasure of, um, of experiences. So, so through working with Robert, we've been able to extract what he does and he has worked with many, many, many children. So there's going to be some real gems in this program that will really help a practitioner um, add to her toolbox or his toolbox in terms of working with children. So um, look, watch out for that one when that comes through. So that, um, and some people, some people may choose that as a niche to work with children. As we see that these uh, programs will complement each other because we'll have them in the schools and then uh, the, the school children will talk to their parents. And that was one of the other lovely stories is, uh, is one, of the, one of the school children learnt it at school and then went home. And then one day her dad was very stressed and so and he was going for an interview. So she said, would you like to learn something that helps you to reduce your stress, Dad? So he said, yes. So she, she taught him to tap and he got the job. <laughs> I don't know if he got the job just because, because you're going to get the job anyway. But it was certainly a way that those skills can be transferred and learned and shared. So, and then we'd see that would be the schools, the parents, the caregivers, and the practitioners will be there to support any of those issues that are, are require a practitioner to work with. So, and the, the practitioner training will, for children, um, working with children of all ages, uh, will be targeted for uh, um, practitioner level three and, and above, because, because that kind of supports um, where, where Robert's at with him, his development and his program. So we're really looking forward to that. And who knows, we would like to have one for children and maybe for other professionals. So there's uh, still, still work ahead for us to do, but we're well, well underway. And um, the mission really is to reach as many children as possible in, in as many different settings all around the world. And for people to learn it, to get on board with it and to reap the rewards of it for life. It's so exciting for all of us in the Faster EFT Utaptics community to um, be able to be a part of this. I know the practitioners are going to be really thinking about this one now, a whole new niche with children. And as you were saying, that's where it all starts. Yeah. Um, so Jacqueline, if anyone is interested in more information, where can they go to? I think probably in the first instance is to watch what's happening um, in, on the Facebook pages and through, through the email. 
So we will be communicating the progress um, about the pilot and when it's actually going to be available. And, and to kind of watch that space for what would that mean to practitioners and what, what training might be available for them um, when that comes kind of further down, down the line. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I'd like to really congratulate you on the last few years of hard, comprehensive, intelligent work. Um, I think it's been so exciting personally to be part of your team and we look so forward to what comes next after this pilot program. So Jacqueline, thank you very much for sharing all of this and we'll be keeping our eyes on this space. Emotional Ed for Children. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, Doreen. And thank you to everybody for listening. Watch this space and thank you for everybody involved. <laughs>